Hey guys, it's Reese, and today I wanted to go through the basics of bullet journaling and essentially what is a bullet journal. So the original function of a bullet journal was to take all those lists to do, all those scrap pieces of paper that you always find around the house and put them into one place and keep them organized. The things you would track in a bullet journal are events, appointments, to-dos, basically anything that is scattered in your mind and you need to keep all together and able to time manage and get your life organized. So the basic supplies of a bullet journal is simply a notebook and a pen. You don't need anything more than that, but of course we've gotten a little bit creative since then and you can use any sort of art supply that will customize your bullet journal to how you want it, such as markers, stickers, a ruler, washi tape, pictures, anything you can use, go right ahead. Next, a bullet journal contains spreads, which is basically how the pages are laid out to organize whatever you need to, which is a monthly calendar, weekly spread, habit tracker, memories, savings and spendings, anything that you want to track in your bullet journal, you can, but these are just kind of the basic ones. And overall, a bullet journal is just to make your life easier. You shouldn't have to stress about it. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just to be creative and get your life together. Go ahead, grab your notebook, grab a pen, and let's get started. So I'm actually starting a brand new bullet journal for myself using this Rhodia notebook and unfortunately my nail broke off at the worst time, but let's ignore that. Basically for your notebook, it can be anything you want it to be, usually something that's travel sized friendly, but you want it to be flexible yet durable because you're going to be using it a lot, probably putting it in your backpack or bag or whatever. And the most common type is to get a grid notebook or dot grid, which essentially just helps create layouts a lot easier than would be a normal lined notebook. So I'm starting off with a cover page and I just actually watered colored these little floral designs onto separate pieces of paper and glued them in. Cover page is essentially just a decorative page when you open up your journal to kind of introduce it, get it going, you know, just kind of have something nice to look at when you first open it. Of course, all the pages I'm doing in my notebook are not necessary for you to do. These are kind of just suggestions that you can follow, but they are usually included in most bullet journals. So I'm finishing up this cover page by writing my word of the year, which is just kind of a motivation word and 2018 on the left side there as it is 2018. Usually after this people will include a key or a legend which essentially is just the different symbols to represent different tasks inside your bullet journal. I don't personally use this but it is very common in bullet journals. Next I'm doing a year overview which is essentially just a view of a couple months ahead so you can plan any future events or trips or anything that's not in the current month that you're planning. This is really useful for students, especially for tracking future exam dates or project due dates, but it's also great for anyone that just needs to plan ahead. Maybe you have trips or whatever the case may be. So I'm doing from February to July. I am starting this bullet journal in February, but that's besides the point. Basically, you just do a little calendar of each month so you know exactly how the days fall. And then underneath it, you can write any future events that you have. At the top of the page, since there was so much space, I'm doing this little floral design. I cannot take credit for this design. I definitely took it from a picture I saw on Pinterest, but it is really nice to just doodle inside your bullet journal and make it creative and make it your own. Next, I'm including a goals page, which is just another personal page of mine to track my goals and always be reminded of them to work towards them. It doesn't have to be included in yours, but I personally really like a goals page as it makes them very visual. Finally, we're getting into the monthly spread, which is just an overview of the entire month that you're in to plan ahead and get all your events down. This is one of the most basic pages in a bullet journal, as essentially a bullet journal not only organizes your thoughts and stuff, it is essentially like a calendar. And I'm doing a normal box calendar spread, which is like any other calendar, but there is a list spread that you can do if you want to view your calendar like that. So of course I'm just going ahead and decorating it. It doesn't have to be as fancy. You can literally just draw a grid in there. But once again, your bullet journal is totally customizable to you and you can do whatever you want with it.
And if you haven't noticed already, I pre-plan all my pages in pencil first. This way, in case I mess up, I can always erase it or rearrange the page and get it how I like it. But now we're moving on to a habit tracker, mood tracker, and memories. So a habit tracker is essentially exactly what it sounds like. You just track any habits that you want to do every day or every week, and it just keeps you organized, keeps you consistent with them. A lot of people like to include it all into one big grid, but I just split up each habit into its own little box so that I can check off each box for each day that I do that habit. Next, I'm doing a mood tracker to show how I felt throughout the month. Of course, you want to see more good days than bad, but a mood tracker is just that. It tracks your mood. Here, I'm doing a little honeycomb design where each shape, I fill in a different color that corresponds with a certain mood. But you can do more of like a graph where you track your mood on a scale of 1 to 10. You can do anything you want. It's really not necessary once again, but this is something personally I like to do. And finally, we've gotten to the weekly spread, which is where you plan out each day of the week in more detail than you would a monthly spread or a year overview. And this is the basis of a bullet journal, just taking each day by day and writing down your to-do list and checking them off as you go. There is a variety of different weekly spreads. You can do something a little bit more structured. You can do something that's very simple and just tracking your to-do list. You can do something that is creative and fun and colorful or just go completely artistic and do something that's fun as long as you get each day down and write down your to-do list and don't forget the point that a bullet journal is to organize not just to create then you are good to go so i'm doing a little bit more of just like a free-flowing page i just kind of scattered the days and gave them enough space to write enough tasks and i'm just kind of including some washi tape and stickers just kind of feeling it out how i want it to be and of course it is February so going with a lot of pink this month but yeah that is my weekly spread So this is my final bullet journal setup. We have the cover page with my watercolor designs, but I actually really like how they turned out. We have my yearly overview to plan ahead for the next couple months. My goals page, which of course I still need to fill out with my goals. My February monthly calendar my habit and mood tracker, as well as memories for the month of February, and my weekly spread. There are so many more pages you can include, but this is what I have, and I hope you guys enjoyed.